What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and today is Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. We're going to talk about gold and silver prices, why they are absolutely tanking today, and also we're going to talk about why this happens in general. So if you're watching this in the future, you'll also have some good information. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so gold and silver are tanking today, and it's not a huge surprise seeing what's going on in the news. So let's go over to the computer and take a look. Now, the first thing I want to point out is I am filming this uh, pretty early in the morning, so these are obviously going to change throughout the day. But right now, gold is down $38.10. Silver is down a buck. Uh, platinum getting crushed as well, down $42. Bucks. Uh, palladium down 37 and rhodium down 500 and this article over at kitco news talks about why gold prices are down and as we all know silver typically follows gold so the article starts off by saying gold price unable to hold its ground following massive u.s private sector employment growth now let's dig in it reads the gold market is seeing some renewed selling pressure in delayed reaction as U.S. companies went on a hiring spree last month, according to private payrolls processor ADP. And then if we scroll down and read further, it goes on to say, Thursday ADP said that 978,000 jobs were created this past month, significantly beat expectations. Consensus forecasts were calling for a job growth of around 645,000. In initial reaction to the ADP data, the gold market managed to hold relatively steady. However, in delayed reaction following more positive economic data, the precious metal has lost further ground. August gold futures last traded at 1,883.20 an ounce, down 1.40% on the day. And we're going to skip on to the bottom here. If you want to read the whole article, I'll put a link in the description. But it says, the ADP report could be a sign that labor shortages are already starting to clear as virus-related health fears and child care responsibilities stemming from school closures start to fade. He said, nevertheless, the Fed's beige book suggesting the shortages remain a serious problem and with other evidence including the PMI surveys indicating that the pace of hiring is still lagging well behind the resurgence in demand we suspect employment growth will continue to disappoint over the next few months some market analysts have said that a disappointing employment report on Friday will continue to support gold prices as it will allow the Fed Reserve to maintain its ultra loose monetary policies and finally if you take a look at the middle of your screen you can see the US dollar Dollar index it is sitting at 90.54 up 0.62 points or in percentage terms well let's just say it's up so it looks like there's about a third of a million more jobs created than expected in may of 2021 and this is causing people to have some more faith in the economy right everything's going back to normal there's no issues so the dollar is going to be strong again and gold and silver weak everyone get out of gold and silver no! <laughs> oh man get out of gold and silver oh. <laughs> in a time like this uh yeah yeah no no absolutely it, it is not time to get out of gold and silver obviously that's a joke um i, I just did a video on gold how it could possibly go to sixteen thousand dollars an ounce in just the next five years we actually take a deep dive into gold price history etc and see if it's possible if you haven't seen that video yet definitely check it out i'll put a link up in the corner as well as a link down below in the description but coming back to gold and silver and why they're down today and also why they go down in general the thing you need to know is that gold and silver prices in the short term can be somewhat volatile 
I mean, this is expected. There's going to be corrections. The price is going to go up. The price is going to go down, especially when we see new data come out, like uh, what happened today. So in the future, you know, if there's any big news items, then that could have effect on gold and silver prices. But also take a look at the US dollar index like I showed. And if the US dollar is going up, then you can expect to see silver likely going down, probably gold going down as well, just because silver is more inversely correlated to the dollar. So if the dollar is strong, then usually silver gets, you know, a little bit weaker. But typically, you know, this is just a correction and we could see it go up the next day, the next week, etc. So really what you need to do is take into account everything that's going on in the world, everything that's going on with the government. And don't look at just, you know, one day's worth of news to make your decision whether to buy or sell. Honestly, I'm kind of stoked that the prices went down a hair because I'm gearing up for another silver purchase. I'm gearing up for another gold purchase. And when the price goes down temporarily, hey, everything just went on sale. And here's the other thing. Gold and silver, these you need to have diamond hands when you're buying them, right? Gold and silver, especially physical, are more of a long-term hold strategy. So most people, when they buy gold or when they buy silver, they're not looking to sell in the next you know, week or month. Uh, typically, it would take longer than that to recoup the premiums and all that kind of stuff. So I would say if you've recently bought silver or if you've recently bought gold and you've seen this price come down a little bit, hey, go out and buy some more because this is going to help you dollar cost average. This is going to help you build your stack for a little bit cheaper of a price. So unless you're completely done stacking and looking to sell, then this news should be exciting for you. And honestly, for me, it definitely is exciting because I love buying gold and silver on the cheap. Now, I know it can be kind of hard for some of the new stackers to actually get excited about buying gold and silver when the price is going down. This is kind of what a contrarian investor does. They wait for stuff to get cheaper and then they invest. So my favorite thing to do is whenever I see lots of red on the gold and silver charts, I go out, I pick up some more gold, pick up some more silver, and I say to myself, look, you just bought this cheaper than you could have the day before. So you're getting a deal, it's on sale. And that's really the mindset that you need to have when you're stacking. And the last thing I wanna do is ask you what you think about the price of silver long-term and the price of gold long-term. Do you think that we're gonna to continue to see them slide back a little bit when the economy opens up more, when more and people get off unemployment and get jobs? Feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. And lastly, I just wanna say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons out.